Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com's training videos in Chief Architect. Today we have flared out stairs that we're going to try to be accomplishing here. A client had sent in a picture. He wanted to create these little mini walls. So we're going to do our best to accomplish just that. All right. Well, let's take a gander at it. Should we leave that picture? Yeah, we should. So we're going to start with stairs because Chief loves to use stairs and I don't necessarily like their stair tool, but I'm going to use it anyway. I'm just going to draw a set of stairs. I'm going to left click on it one time. I'm going to stretch it out to be a certain size. What's great is if you double click it, it has all these specifications you can play around with. And in this case, why don't we say it's going to be 60 inches. Oh, we want the width. Sorry, the width I have here. Let's make it 10 feet wide. Okay. 10 feet by whatever and whatever and double click it gives you a nice little diagram over here as well so i'm going to fix a few things i don't like like i don't want it open underneath and i don't want it open risers and if i zoom in here you'll see i've got like a little bit of a lip at the edge of each step that's this uh, tread so i'm going to zero both of them out so they go away and then of course on the railing i don't need railing left or right so i'm just going to remove those and there's my set of stairs. I love it, baby. One of the cool things with stairs that most people don't know is these little extra tools that pop up when you select your stairs. One of them is to flare out the size, and that's what we're trying to do here. So you click on it, and you'll notice all these weird triangles and squares and whatnot. And that's basically letting you know you're um, able to grab one side and flare out a side. So I'm going to flare it out about that far. And then flaring this out, I'm kind of pulling it up and pulling it out and pulling it up. And we can go as high as we want up to a certain point unless we want to cut it again. And then we just want to follow the same kind of thing around here. Uh, give that a little bit more leeway. There we go. Something like that. Looks about right. Ooh, I'm still in stair mode, so I'll create another stair. So there, I got my stairs. I'm setting up for that, and now I just need these walls. So how do we do that? Well, with anything that's uh, chief, there's some issues that we have. One part is the fact that it's bending. Another part is, is while it's bending, it's decreasing in size here. So a simple polyline solid would be a little difficult to make it with, and but that's basically the tool you do want to use. We want to use a polyline solid to create that look so that's how we're going to do it now i'd like to start instead of a polyline solid which i mean you can it's right here i simply like to start with the cad tools first and the reason why is because it's just easy to bend things so i'm going to come in about here and there and i'm just going to line up that cad line right around there and i see i need to clip it right here so i'm going to cut it it's a cut tool and that's the number three on the keyboard so i'm not going to actually click on that i'm going to use my number three on the keyboard that's my hot key so i'm just going to left click it and i've cut it there and i've dragged over like this and now i have a straight line here and i want to tell this straight line since it is selected to be curved so i'm going to come over here and use the curve tool and for some reason, I do not see the curve tool. Why don't I see that? Oh, there it is. So turning it on. Oh, I have to hold it down or something? How funny dunny. Well, some people have it on the bottom, and maybe that's for the reason. So I'm going to pluck, pluck mine on the bottom and use my curve tool. And there we go. And see the little triangle on the curve? That allows us to manipulate it in the curve that we want to use. So I'm just going to curve it right around there. And then um, I'm thinking that it needs to stop about there. And then over here it needs to stop about, yeah, about there. Now I'm going to curve this one. But before I do that, I'm going to hit three on the keyboard, cut it again, and kind of line up with that one the way it is. Now I know this one can be curved to match. So I'll go back to our curve tool and I'm just going to kind of curve it around. And I see, like, I think I need to go out a little thicker and curve it maybe one little hair more. That looks pretty good. And see how I was shaping this? This is the kind of detail that, you know, just kind of takes time. Now, that one kind of went out squared, so I could square it something like that but i'm just going to leave it like that because i, I want to build it like that um, so anyways let me get it out a little further happy there i like that okay now it's still a cad line so we need to convert it into a polyline solid we can use this tool right here convert polyline so i'm going to convert it to a polyline solid click ok and then we make the height and the thickness so in this case why don't we go i don't know 48 inches 
and elevation top 48 inches. So it should be, if we look at it in the 3D, pretty high. All right, that looks really good. And I'm going to bring it down to this top step. So I'm going to select it and just gently bring it down till I get really close to that top step. That seems to be good. So it's a nice little wall, nice little conforming sim. The only thing now is it needs to slope down, right? Okay, so how do we slope it down? Now Chief won't let this do this with a polyline solid, so I'm going to take my elevation view and show you. If I select the polyline, all I can do is really decrease or increase it. I can't really shape the pieces like grabbing a corner and dragging it down. So what Chief does let you do is kind of primitive, but it still works, and that is it does allow you to subtract polyline. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go in here to the elevation view. So make sure you get a view going. And we want to subtract it. Um, and what I mean is we want to take a polyline solid and we want to drag it where we want it. Say right about here. And I'm going to make it, mm, I don't know, 60 thick or so. And I'm going to push, punch it up to here to right about there. In fact, I'm going to go right up to the top. You see where I lined it right up to the top there, and it went past. Let's go to the 3D. So that's pretty good. I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to move it on in. So if I were to subtract this now, you could see how the wall would start to bend down. And it looks like from this angle, I should probably do even more. So let's do that. Let's go even more that we want to subtract and I'm going to push it on down into here. So it's a pretty gnarly subtraction and I think I'm leaving the right amount of room. I'm just guessing now. And so let's subtract this bad boy. So this is how we do it. We want to first select the polyline that we want and uh, here it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what do we want to do? I think we want to make it to convert to a solid. So I'm going to convert that one to a solid and subtract that one. I think that's how it works. And I'll have to try it both ways if I'm wrong. So you'll see these um, three square boxes. And one says solid union, solid intersection, and solid subtraction. So I want to subtract that on that. So I'm going to subtract that on that. Does that work? No. Let's subtract that for that. That didn't work either. Okay, so maybe I need to make this one also a solid subtract. There we go. So I want to, I've made them both solid now, and I want to take that and I want to subtract that. Uh, so I like this, and I think I want to subtract that. Yeah, that makes more sense. So I'll do that, and there we go. That's subtract. Okay, makes a lot more sense now, right? <laughs> as I'm making this up as I go. So that's how you do it. So let me go in here and type in brick. Why? Because I like brick. Don't you like brick? Everybody likes brick. Okay, 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 okay. There we go, there we go. Looking pretty good. Um, I might even want to fix those top ones because I noticed on the brick... For Chief, it does have the reversed ones that are going a different direction. And I can make this side do a different direction. Doesn't look all that clean, but maybe I can clean it up. I'm going to go in here to the Define Material Region Texture and uh, Stretch to Fit. I'm going to just uncheck and let's make it uh, 30 by 20. Oh, well, let's just play around 60. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty good. All right. And then we can make it probably thicker too, right? Can't we do that? Uh, the style, runner, tread, width, overhang, thickness. So I don't know, four? Maybe a four, something like that? So you can really get technical? Well, starting to look really weird now. And I might have the wrong texture. I see the color's just off just a bit. Uh, style, let's go 2.5. Let's kind of split the difference. That looks a little bit better. <clears throat> okay, and then maybe to finish things off, we can simply copy this bad boy. So we will do a copy and plop it here. And then I'm going to open up my um, transform replicate. And I'm going to say reflect left to right. And then I'm going to use my point to point move to grab that point and put it there. 
And then again, remember these stairs I shaped a little differently. So I'm going to click on it and try to shape it back so it's not so different than this piece. And it looks like I'm getting close, but the shape of the stairs might need a little tweaking. Again, it doesn't have to be exact because it does go into the polyline solid, remember. So it, it does finish off. It looks like it's finishing off well. So that's been messing with polyline solids here at chieftutor.com. Hope you learned something new. Thanks for following along. And if you want to see more videos, you can see all you want. And join ChiefTutor.com as a Prime member. You get full access to all these videos and hundreds of symbols free of charge for just a one-time symbol fee of 100 bucks. You can't beat that. You really can't beat that. I mean, you could try, but really, I don't think you're going to be able to beat that.